But welcome back to our um, guitar lessons, and uh, we've been doing these for a couple weeks now, and I thought it'd be a great chance just to get with Sarah and Chloe on an in-person lesson through um, our video conference today, and answer any questions they may have as we learn one new concept today. So uh, first, let's just uh, review our G chord, so if you'll find that, and let's just hear Chloe strum down each uh, string, so it'll sound like this. Okay. What? It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> what the heck? Come on. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really good, <laughs> Chloe. I think it's just that last um, that last string with yeah. the pinky. You just need to build up a little bit of strength. It's really good. Let's hear Sarah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so that's what we want to do with every single chord we learn is... Uh, just kind of strum through every once in a while to make sure that we have the right hand position and we're putting the right amount of pressure so that all the strings are ringing like they should. Okay, so we know G, we know C, which just moves the fingers down a string with your pointer and your second finger. E minor we learned last time. And so we have one more chord to learn today to kind of um, know the foundation of, of most praise songs, and that's our five chord, our D chord. I'm going to teach you again kind of a cheater chord today that can get us there quickly. So you're going to go ahead and leave those two fingers, uh, your, your pinky and your ring finger, you're going to leave those on the third fret, on the B and the E string, like all of our chords so far. And then what I like again is we're just going to move one finger to find this final chord. And so we're actually going to put our pointer finger on the second fret on the G string. So this is our third string from the bottom. Okay, and, and our middle finger actually doesn't touch anything. So we're just using our pointer okay. finger along with uh, our third and our fourth finger. And so this is going to be a D suspended. And we actually just strum from the D string down. So D, G, B, and E strings. Okay, our D suspended. Okay, so let's hear Sarah try that, just strumming from the D string. And then we take the top four strings? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Chloe, let's hear yours. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, just gotta get the right pressure, but that's perfect. Yeah. So that's our D suspended. So why don't we why don't we go to the C? So find the C chord. Our second finger, our middle finger, is on the third fret on the A string, and then our pointer finger is on the second fret on the G string. That's our C, and of course third and fourth finger staying planted as they have been for all of these chords. That's our C, try that. <laughs> that was not right. <laughs> and then again, this is a this is a one finger change. So to go from that C to the D suspended, you're you're going to just move your pointer finger down a string, right? So your pointer finger currently is on the G string, or sorry, on the D string, and then it's gonna move to the G. And then we're going to lift up our middle finger, careful not to offend anyone. And you're just going to play the D string down for our D suspended. So again, it's not a huge, it's not a huge leap. Our, um, our pointer finger is just going down one string, okay? And then we're lifting up our middle finger. So let's go uh, play a rest four between the C and the D suspended. One, two, ready, and <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rest, find D suspended, move your pointer finger down a string. Here we go. to C, so point your finger up a string, middle finger back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the D, one, two, D, and. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, the only other thing we need to do is, is to, to get on to other chords. And so the particular progression we're going to look at today um, starts in a C, and then it goes to D. So that's what we've just been doing. 
But after the D, we're going to go to E minor. So let's kind of practice that, that side of it. So find that D suspended again. Now to go from D suspended to E minor, two things have to happen. One, our, our pointer finger is going to actually skip down two strings. So it's going to go to the A string, on the, still on the second fret. And then our middle finger is going to plop down on the D string, second, second fret. Remember the E minor? Okay, we're finding the E minor from the D suspended. So your pointer finger has to skip over a string back to the A, and then our middle finger plops down on the D string on the second fret. Okay, so let's let's just practice that now. So play play eight, rest four, starting on D suspended and then going to the E minor. So here's D suspended, eight counts. One, two, ready and play. Two. Rest, find E minor, three, and play. Two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so our song today is, uh, is going to be the bridge from uh, Build My Life, which uses these four chords now. And these, these four chords are really the basis for a lot of songs, but it goes on a C. I will build my to a D life upon your E minor love. It is a thong. Back to G. Then we go to C. So it's four counts on each chord C, oh D, E minor, D, e, D, E minor, G. Um, and I like this progression because every chord only has four beats, so it's pretty easy to remember. But for now, as we try to learn it, Let's do play four, rest four, okay? And, it, and at home, if you need a little more rest, you can do play four, rest eight, whatever you need to kind of find the next chord. But uh, just try to stay in tempo. Tempo is real important as we're learning to play together. So here's C, a one, two, four, counts, play. Two, three, and rest, find the D suspended play. Minor, two, E minor, pointer on the A string. That's it, Chloe. Thank you. And then back to G, our home base, ready and play. <laughs> and now we have an easy one. Go to the C right away. C. Wow. It was a C, right? It was, it's oh, just C. <laughs> so yeah, at the end of the progression, we have a G, and then we go back to a C. So that should be an easy one, right? We're just moving from here to here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? All right, let's do that one more time, and you may need to skip ahead on the video, but uh, let's, let's give another shot at that. Starting on the C, play four, rest four. One, two, ready, and C, two, three, rest, D suspended, our new chord, E minor, our pointer finger jumps over to the A string, and now back to G, home base, ready, and now go right to C right away, C, right, yeah, so that's the easy one, then we rest for the D, cool, all right, so those are um, the four chords that, um, again, make up a lot of different praise songs, and we can start going over. <laughs> It's great to hear your progress. Chloe is just killing it. Sarah, I mean, you know, expected a little more from a viola player, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys, are, you guys are both doing really good, and it's good to see you. And uh, we'll continue on with, uh, with some more chords next week and some other ideas. But uh, let us know if you have any questions or if you have anything in particular that you're struggling with. We'd love to help you out. But thanks for watching, and God bless you.